Say it ain't so. A lean shopping center? Impossible. Well, we were invited to come meet with the team of a lean shopping center, the largest shopping center developer in Japan, and learn about how they practice lean and how they teach all the people who actually rent from them how to practice lean. It was awesome. The first thing they do is they teach their people to be respectful when they're out on the floor. So when they walk out, they have visual controls, they bow, and then they go to work. They're saying, this is a big deal, we're taking care of our customers. They also do the same thing when they quit work. Now they found that if the aisles are curved, their customers are more relaxed. So they put curves in all the aisles. If they couldn't, they actually put curves in the walkway to make it look like it was curved and curves in the ceiling. They really thought about everything. It's just very comfortable to be in their malls. And if they couldn't do that, they actually stepped the countertops out. You can see that down at the very end because even that was better than going down a straight aisle. Now it gets better. They created a visual line of sight. They cut down all the countertops and you can see how you can see from one area all the way through on both sides. It feels wonderful. There's no big barriers blocking things. They're thinking about lean in everything they do. They are totally customer focused. The children's barbershop has little cars the kids sit in. They actually have a barbershop, they have a kids clothing store, they have a place where they can learn English, they have a dance studio, and they have Papa's powder room, and then they have a game arcade over to the left. They've allocated tons of space for children and for families. It's really marvelous and making the father a priority to bring them to the mall. And they have this special room in here. You can change diapers, you can rest. They've used lots of natural light, so it's a very pleasant place. They've used premium real estate for their customers. It's really quite amazing the way they think about everything. There's places for you to sit everywhere. They have these central play areas in the middle so all the kids can play and then the parents can shop and keep an eye on on them it's really fantastic now it extends also to the employees who work there they have a beautiful cafeteria they have a powder corner where the employees can go in there and put on their makeup or do whatever they want they're always thinking about a great work environment all the lockers are super clean it used to be very unorganized people put their shoes all over the place everything's buttoned down and super tight they even take pictures of cars that are inappropriately parked by the employees because it impacts the customers where they can park. And so now the employees are fined 50 bucks and they have to write a one page letter on why they did it. And it's decreased to only about five a month now. And it used to be a lot more. Every one of these aisles represents a month of cars that were parked incorrectly and it keeps decreasing. So it's a highly effective program focused on the customer. So you get off the escalator, a huge two on the floor, visual controls tells you exactly what floor you're on so the next time you're in japan and you want to see an amazing mall check these guys out they have it dialed in to lean